guys, PlayStation Mommy here, aka Shantae Fatal. And today we have a very special unboxing with a special guest. PlayStation Poppy is here to do a dual double unboxing of our Switches. We both pre-ordered them. So stay tuned and watch all of the awesomeness we both received. Let's get started, guys. <laughs> And here we have my switch. Oh, it's so exciting. Pull out my handy dandy unboxing knife. That Which place. I got her. Yeah, yeah. PlayStation Poppy. While she does that, shout out to me. I have one that is already unboxed because I'm very impatient and I needed to see it now. And some people do. Hey, it is what it is. Well, we wait for her. I'm going to go why I'm so excited when it's right next to you. What could it be? My box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why does my box look different? <sighs> but if you notice, we both got the gray because the neon colors are very tacky. I don't enjoy the red with the blue. I just, I just like gray. I like basic. Unless they have pink, then I would totally go for a pink the or gray. sparkly or iridescent. The gray does look very businessy, casual. Are you doing business with your switch? Well, if you're gonna take it to work or anything, you don't want it to look like a toy, right? I feel you. I like feel you took you. little Billy's Game Boy to work. <laughs> Who is little Billy? I don't know, but if we had a little Billy. Okay, okay. Are you ready? But for those of you who haven't seen the switch box, this is Very small and compact, actually. Got some examples here. And the back. Where She's showing the front. Off. I'm showing the back. But okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's this way. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, we should probably do it this way. Watches struggle together. I have never opened this box, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. It lifts up. Okay, I'm like not even showing it. You see this, guys? It's great. I know you can't see my face, but. So we have our Joy Cons over here, left and right. The tablet right here, 6.2 inch thing. Actually, a lot smaller in person than you would think. I did notice that. I expected it to be bigger, but it's not like the size is a surprise. Like, so this is the actual screen. Oh, that glare. <laughs> that glare though. Yes, very reflective. Very reflective. Here's the back. You can the switch logo. Got your little kickstand right here. So I'm just gonna pop mine out. Leave that right here. Take this out of here. So Joy-Con controller. This would be, I believe it's the right one with the IR camera on the bottom. Home button, joystick with face buttons. People were saying how good this feels in hand, but it feels quite tiny. I don't know who's gonna play this with two player like this. Can you imagine playing like this? Not really. Yeah. So they tell you to play Mario Kart with another person, like if you guys don't have two Joy Cons. I mean, that's low key why we mm -hmm. got our own. Mm -hmm. So I suggest get two Pro controllers. Don't try this. For one person, fabulous. I saw our SL buttons inside here. Let's figure out where to connect. And this is a special little button right here that disconnects the joy cons. Um, I should probably be paying attention to you because I would just be like shoving it out and in. Yeah. There are like a lot more buttons on this than I expected. Oh, is that to tell like the battery or no? I don't know to be honest with you. 
I think someone some weird twisted way. Okay, so what else comes in this box other than the system? And then this is the next door time right here. She wants to skip ahead, but Okay, you already opened it, so I'm still super excited I'm and ready to go. I'm giving the people in. an unboxing and a review of the hardware. Okay. Overview. Go ahead. Okay. Share button. Works like your PlayStation share button, except no video this time. So, can you only share screenshots? Yes. Right now, you can only share screenshots. But Nintendo says that you'll be able to share video clips at a later date. Who knows when that is? How long do you think those clips will be? Um, like a Nintendo, Snapchat maybe type? 10, 15 seconds. <laughs> Nintendo Snapchat. Are we jumping in now? Or are you still talking about these? No. What do we have next? HDMI cable. It's your standard affair. If you have a PS4 or Xbox, you should know what this is, right? Basically. <laughs> Where's your wall connector you got? Mine's plugged in back here because I already unboxed mine, but... She can show you hers. Yes. Says so Nintendo on it. USB Logan. Type C. I'm getting to that. Okay. I'm on this end still. I'm sorry. Okay, so plug it into the wall. Sorry, I'm sorry. American. And then a C port type cable. Let's talk about how awesome that is that they don't have some random, whatchamacallit. Do not like. try to charge your Switch. With your phone charger. Wow. It will take forever. Forever. You included one, buy another one. What's this? Is there another oh. one? Oh. oh. These would be the Joy-Con wrist straps. This is to make it a little easier, the comfort grips. So you just slide these on those rails right here. Wait, Oops. are they like... Designated for one side or no? I think so. I'll just put my arm off the right. Oh, because you see the plus and minus at the top? I know you guys can't see it, but there's a plus and minus on them okay, that should guys. line up. I believe you might be able to see that plus and this plus, but I feel like this isn't working. Oh, maybe I'm just a weak link. I mean, this feels a tad bit better playing like this. That's the same thing. So I wonder if that's like for the charge. Apparently, you push this mini button to release it. Okay, so I'm gonna end up breaking this. I think I broke my joy con already. <laughs> Put mine on the wrong <laughs> side. You need some help, guy. I mean, can go in one way? So. Oh, there we go. But whatever Technical way you put it in, it's always. Like, you know what I mean? This side has a plus, mm -hmm. but this side has a minus. So regardless which one you put in, it's always the right way. I don't know how mine got uh, worked out. Apparently, they're interchangeable. Nifty fact. Or maybe if you slide it in the wrong way, like from the bottom, when it should be from the top. Maybe. But this is what it is once you actually add the grip. Actually does make it a little more comfortable, but still not an ideal way to play, I don't think. Hey, yours is lighting up. Probably because mine already synced and everything. Oh, uh, like yours aren't. Sync mine. So these are the comfort grips. But you could give this to two kids in the backseat and they could play like it. I would be scared to give this to two kids in the backseat. Oh, like, end out the window. 
And it comes with a little wrist strap, so if you're playing like Just Dance, I'm gonna throw it out the window. <laughs> or at your TV. Very expensive 4K TV. Okay, what else comes in this nifty box? Ooh. What would this be called? The hand grip? It is the Joy-Con Comfort Grip. The more you know. Yeah. This thing will turn your two Joy-Cons into somewhat of a controller. It's actually not as bad as people have been making it out to be. It's not the ideal controller by any means, but it's functional. So when you're in tabletop mode, hmm. Or you're docked when your Joy Cons are, or your Switch is dying and it needs uh, some charge. You can just get on this. But this doesn't charge it, does it? It doesn't charge it, but trust me, your Switch will definitely die a few times before your Joy Cons will. Joy Cons get about 20 hours of battery life. The Switch playing Zelda, about three. Well, I mean, I like this idea and this concept, but personally, as a girl, my nails are not, like, incredibly long right now, but, like, it low-key is, like, scratching the inside, which is a bit of a concern for me, because I'm scared I'll start, like, scratching this inside and it'll get all messed up. These are relatively cheap, though. You can buy a new one for, like, 20 bucks. Oh, well, then. So, scratch away, right? But for the girls out there, your nails might dig into your comfort grip. For the fellas out there, we're good. And I have relatively big hands, and this works. Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to replace it, I'll replace it with the one that charges. In fact, Nintendo made it to look like a dog. Doggy, doggy. For all the Snapchat people out there, you'll appreciate that, right? My favorite filter. Comes with warnings. The usual books and shit. Don't sue them. We'll they file work. that to the side. And the magical thing that makes everything happen. The switch dock. Just having a pile of stuff always open. So this thing right here will hook it up to your TV, has a USB port in the back, HDMI and a power cord. So you just slide this thing on here. I'm afraid because people's switches have been getting scratched, so I'm going to do it one time just for you guys. Feel special. Just slide. And it's already in. What are they scratching it on though? Because there's guide rails on the inside. That guide your switch into it and the screen has been rubbing against these guards right here. I don't know if it's in. Oh, mine's not in. Yeah, it'll, it'll be sick. I'm pretty sure you're in, but once, once you have it all set up and everything, there's actually an indicator light at the bottom that'll tell you when it's in and everything down here. I can set mine up, apparently. It'll be a green indicator light. I mean, this is really neat. I appreciate this backside to have all the cables and everything. Yeah. Cable management there. USB port for charging all your little peripherals if you decide to get a Pro Controller. A Joy-Con Comfort Grip charging one. The Joy-Cons feel really good sliding onto the system. They even make the little noise. And yeah. So you guys have the size she already dropped it. It wasn't really a drop. It was like a little... It's broken. I'm not giving her mine. Let's just say that. Well, then. I feel the love. Can you feel Okay. The love Let's see. There's a horrible glare. Oh. Terrible glare. 
Okay, just so you have a size comparison, I have my PlayStation Vita right here. Oh, the finger moves. Mine next to hers. Mine's better. Let's just talk about how mine's better because, okay, there's like super glare here. I don't want to blind you guys. But you can see the fan. So you can see. And I'll size bring comparison. this out. Oh, yeah, and with the glare. The Wii U tablet controller, which was a behemoth. Let's just do this. Again. <laughs> I can't with my life. Party foul number two, guys. Number two. Size comparison right here. You can tell. I'm not trying to. The Wii U pad it. is a lot wider, it's a lot thicker, it's a lot taller. And this is 10 times more powerful. I also have a grip, so it looks a tad bit thicker. Burly. So you have an idea. Just so you know with my Switch, guys, I got this. Well, the only nice. game I have is Zelda Collector's Edition. Because I love collector's editions. My box looks so tiny compared to hers. My Switch box looks <laughs> tiny compared to my Zelda box. Box comparison. So, I'm going to let her unbox her Zelda for you guys. So thanks like for it. watching my unboxing. Thanks for our watching unboxing our unboxing of the Switch. Do unboxing, guys. And please rate, subscribe, follow PlayStation Mommy. She streams on Twitch, YouTube sometimes. I just transfer over my Twitch to my YouTube. I'll put her link in the description. Or I'll put your link in the description. Our links will be in the description. We're doing a video together. Each having it posted on our YouTube, so. So follow us, but I'm going to depart so she can unbox her Zelda. I believe that for a different video, so. Oh. Well, I guess that ends <laughs> my Switch unboxing, our Switch unboxing. Yes. It was fun. Let me know. Let us know if you enjoyed this. And we'll do it more. Yeah. We tend to get a lot of things. We try to get everything. <laughs> We own almost everything because we have VR back here, <laughs> collector's editions back here, controllers, Xboxes, PS4. I don't want to put my Xbox controller over there. Switches now. We have Wii U. So anything you guys want to see, let us know. We'll stream anything you want. 